Hello, my name is Chris from Morton, and I'm the creator of Juke Joint. So what is Juke Joint? The easy explanation, Juke Joint is a multimedia collaboration that centers around a series of photo shoots that follows an original storyline displayed in comic book format. So essentially what we're doing is we're taking two distinctly different genres of popular culture, comic books and fashion, and bringing them together. In actuality, these two genres do bear some similarities. In comic books, you have attractive individuals in great physical condition, wearing colorful and stylish attire. And in fashion, you have models on a runway or a photo shoot that adopt facial expressions and gestures that best represent the concept of what they're promoting. So basically, in essence, they're taking on an alter ego. How the project came about was in 2013, I approached Charlotte-based model, stylist, and entrepreneur Lamont Hart about working on a project. Lamont is the owner and operator of the House of Lamont, a men's boutique. And one thing that Lamont specializes in is vintage clothing. Sort of representative of the era with touchables and Harlemite is based out of. Lamont agreed to do it. Now, one thing about me is uh, I try to do things a little bit different when I do shoots, try to add a little bit of creative flair to it. So what we would decide to do was we add props to it to give it that vintage look. The poker chips, the Tommy guns, the dancing girls, to give it the look of a vintage shoot. Once props were brought in, I decided to come up with character types. Who would use these props? You have your gambler, you have your gangster, you have your showgirl. Once we came up with character types, I started giving these characters descriptive names. Move forward to 2014, Lamont and I both knew a lot of the same models here in Charlotte. So we had in mind certain people that we wanted to use in the project. And for the most part, they all agreed to do it. The one issue we were having was scheduling conflicts because, you know, trying to do a project of this size and using this number of models and them having their own projects going on, it was hard trying to set down some dates. Uh, but during the meanwhile, Lamont and I are still keeping in contact about ideals, what we wanted to do, or what we wanted to show, how we wanted to shoot it. And one day, joking around with Lamont, I said, you know, if we don't hurry up and start shooting, I'm going to wind up writing a whole story behind this. A few weeks later, the first draft of Juke Joint was created. So basically, we brought together all these individuals together to mimic the action that was taking place in the storyline, thus creating what I call a photovel or photovel, a photographic novel. The primary goal of Juke Joint is to be a huge promotional vehicle for everybody that's participating in it. The models, the stylists, the hair and makeup people, everybody that played a part in Juke Joint wanted this project to be a way to show the world what these individuals are capable of. If I had to use one word to describe Juke Joint, it would be collaboration. Because doing a project this size is required to work with dozens of people and I am blessed and honored to be able to work with these talented individuals to bring this to fruition. The future plans for Juke Joint is to create an ongoing series to continually tell the story of Juke Joint by adding in new storylines, bringing in new characters, thus bringing in new models, uh, new st wardrobe stylists, just to continue the story going. Um, past Juke Joint, I would love to be able to work with new writers, other photographers, other models to tell other stories besides the story of Juke Joint and to create a whole new genre of storytelling with the photographic novel. I uh, hope you find all this interesting. We would love for you to follow what goes on in Juke Joint and keep in touch with us through social media. We're on social media through Facebook and Instagram and we hope you enjoy what you see. Peace. Hello world. My name is Lamont Hart. I'm a local boutique owner here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I own and operate the House of Lamont here at Area 15, address 512 East 15th Street. I also play uh, Showtime, a uh, lead character here in the Juke Joint. Um, privileged to have had that opportunity to do so. I think it started with um, um, Christopher Morton, the uh, creative genius or mastermind behind the whole project, coming to me and uh, basically just showing me some love for the boutique. Uh, agreed to do some shots and uh, some video, uh, things of that nature basically that I could use uh, to further advocate uh, the boutique and what I was doing within it. And uh, it quickly morphed 
uh, we got a lot of uh, Charlotte models involved and uh, it quickly turned into a platform uh, that Christopher put together for us to receive a lot of uh, exposure and further endorsement, uh, more opportunity to do what we basically love to do. Um, so when he asked me about it, of course I agreed to do it. And uh, after it graduated or morphed into uh, basically the storyline of Juke Joint, the project itself, uh, actually instead of the consistency of the feeling, no, there was not that. It actually got better. I mean, it kind of snowballed. We all became super excited about it, um, started sharing it, coming up with other ideas on how we might be able to market it or benefit from it. So I'm truly grateful again for that opportunity. Um, the character Showtime itself, um, once I read the storyline and was given the opportunity to play it, of course, you know, I went head over heels with it. Um, was easy to get into character. The character, um, the character and myself, or my own personal life, uh, somewhat intertwines things that we are involved in. Um, him being an entrepreneur, a business owner, and uh, above and beyond that, a truly dapper gent. I try to consider myself as such. Um, and again, I am a, a local entrepreneur also. So um, there are some things that tie us together and uh, allow me that chance to really uh, jump into my character and own the role. Um, it allowed me the opportunity to further develop rapport with a lot of the other characters that I was involved or that are in the storyline, um, which made us a really big family. It wasn't just a project. It, it made us more of a family. Uh, we, to this day, still work on other things and refer and recommend each other um, as a result of our experience here at Juke Joint. Um, Again, that one word that I could use to describe uh, Showtime, I use even still throughout my daily interactions here at the House of Lamont. And again, that's Dapper. Um, my logo here at the boutique is Stay Dapper, my friend. Uh, again, that is taken from um, Mr. Goldberg, uh, basically the most dapper man, or the most interesting man on the planet. I consider myself the most dapper man. So. Uh, I kind of play with that, and it's great to have that opportunity to still use Dapper even in the show, in, in the storyline. So I'm super grateful uh, for the opportunity uh, to be in Juke Joint and just uh, look to the stars in terms of where else it's going to take us uh, because uh, sky's the limit. Um, this project gave me a lot of motivation in terms of doing things for myself uh, to know that you know, from one single idea, everything appeared here, or that from one single thought that you have, just putting a little bit of hard work and uh, getting some people around you that believe in you uh, can make those dreams come true possible. And I mean, you're able to manifest that into a reality. So that's what Juke Joint did for me. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, stay dapper, my friend. Hi, I'm Ryan Irwin. And in the juke joint, I play Honey. Honey's the general manager over the Pleasure Palace, and she is the glue that holds everybody together. She makes sure the money is coming through the door, and she definitely makes sure that Showtime is behaving himself. She kind of has a crush on Showtime, and he hasn't been paying attention to her, but he has been paying attention to the new chick in town, and Honey is not feeling her. Me personally, as Ryan Irwin and Honey have a lot in common um, in the fact that we are the glue that keeps everybody together. I was excited when I was asked by Christopher Morton to join the Juke Joint because I myself enjoy getting into character and becoming someone that I'm not. And with the characters combined, it's just a, it's just a, a, a group of individuals that you really have to check out. All of the characters come together and mesh well to really bring you to Pleasure Palace. One word that I can use to describe Honey is Honey. She's sweet and everybody loves her. Hello, my name is Natasha Chamberlain and the character that I play is Miss Jill Fortune. My character is a spoiled rich kid who loves the nightlife and what generally happens to her in this story is she goes out there and she explores the nightlife and then finds somebody she really likes.
but her mom doesn't agree with it, so. Um, there are similarities between me and the character, which are she's fun, she's flirtatious, <laughs> and I'm also that same way. One word would be fantasious. <laughs> she's fun, she's flirtatious, so yeah, that's good. And the reason I got involved in this project is because I like it. It's different, and I I love the old time like vintage stuff like that, like Harlem Nights, awesome movie. And since I have the chance to do that in this, I'm really enjoying this project. Hi, my name is Wanda Carr and I play Miss Fortune in the Juke Joint Project. Um, Miss Fortune's character is well described as a socialite. She's a showstopper. Um, she is very uh, wealthy and, and a high society woman in the Juke Joint Project. One of the similarities between myself and Miss Fortune is um, she's a stepmom for uh, the character Jewel and like any other mom and myself we want the best for our children. Um, one word to describe my character would be showstopper. Um, time stops when she walks into the room. She demands attention when she walks into the room. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to be involved with Juke Joint I am very excited about this project. It's something new. No one else is doing it, and I get to do it with a lot of my friends. So come out, come see the Juke Joint Project, and I hope to see you there. I'm Kelly G. Mellorine. I play the sheriff in the Juke Joint Project. Um, he's a one cast member trying to maintain law and order, which is what a sheriff does, in a city filled with crime, greed, and corruption. Uh, what's intriguing about the sheriff is that um, yeah, he does empathize with the characters, however. They should be breaking the law, and he has no tolerance for that. He does have a soft spot for Vixen, so keep an eye out for that. Um, what I find interesting about the character is, um, I guess the one, there's one word that I would describe him, and that's torn. He's torn between something intriguing about what's going on in the city, um, the gambling, violence, the sex and everything else around. Um, there's the other side of him that's, he's responsible for upholding the law and he'll make sure that that's done. What I enjoy about Juke Joint is the camaraderie between everybody in the cast. Initially I wanted to get into Juke Joint because of the fashion, but it's so much more than that. And we've all become one great Juke Joint family. Love these people. Hey guys, it's Georgie Mason here with Juke Joint. I'm actually playing Vixen here in Juke Joint. It's really exciting because Vixen is a lost soul. <laughs> and she finds herself at the candy shop, which turns out to be, it's not a bad thing for her, but um, it kind of makes her, builds her, it helps her find herself in a way. Uh, the candy shop kind of increases her awareness of, of her lifestyle and um, she gets taken by this this guy boss <sighs> he tries to take her heart yuck <laughs> but he's not at all the loving type of guy he actually possesses her he sees her as more of a possession um, but eventually she realizes hey I, I deserve more than this I am more than a uh, belonging I'm a person so her eyes begin to wander and she finds herself kind of going after the sheriff. <laughs> it might work, it might not, you gotta watch, but um, it's definitely entertaining, I will say that. <laughs> lots of drama, lots of scandal, lots of eye-opening moments, and um, I really feel that she's a good character for me to play because we're very much alike. Uh, we experience some of the same issues in life. Um, I'm a survivor, you might not know that, but I am, and uh, it really, it's really good to embody that again, it brings me, it humbles me so much, so it's nice to kind of go back to that, um, she's hungry, she's a lightning bolt, she's ready, so I think that's pretty much how I am. <laughs> uh, the one word to describe her, 
rambunctious all around, like in so many ways. Um, and that's myself. And I really, I really truly appreciate this opportunity to be a part of the Chief Joint Family. It's been great. And uh, it's been a quiet experience for me. I get to work with a lot of people here in Charlotte. And we're really talented. We've got a pretty talented group here in Charlotte. And uh, yeah, we rock. <laughs> So definitely stay tuned, check out more of Juke Joint on Facebook, Instagram, all the social media links are there and follow us. We're coming. Hi everyone, this is Julio E. Victoria. I am a model slash actor slash janitor slash you name it, it's there. Um, and I play the character of Ace as part of Juke Joint. Um, I have been a part of this project now for over a year. And Ace is someone who is a hustler. He's a, he's a gambler, if you will. He takes a chance on, on everything. And he gets in trouble sometimes. Um, as you would see, uh, you know, um, I don't relate to the character in the sense that I get a golf ball stuck on my mouth. However, the similarities that we both have are, you know, besides the fact that we're both, you know, ever so handsome, we both tend to take a chance on, you know, on life. We both live day to day. And though we may get in trouble, it allows us to live our lives to the fullest. I was interested in this project um, due to the vintage concept, uh, the glam, the old gangster style life <laughs> that, you know, that was so prevalent. Uh, you know, back about 50, 60, 70 years ago. And it was something very unique, you know, that now that we are at this stage, I can't wait to see what becomes of it. So one word to describe Ace would be troublemaker in every sense of the word, a troublemaker. He gets his mouth sometimes where it doesn't belong and sometimes um, he can uh, get himself in, in situations that are unique to, to his character, um, especially with some of the beautiful ladies that are a part of the cast. So what I would say to you all is stay tuned. Hi, my name is Jerry Creighton, and I'm part of the Juke Joint Project. My character's name is Ivory Keys. Um, Ivory Keys is the local piano player, musician, um, inside of the Juke Joint. Um, similarities between myself and the character are um, we both are musicians. Um, we both are singers, songwriters. We both have traveled different places around the country and the world um, singing performing and we both um, enjoy a good martini. Um, some of the things that happened to um, Ivory Keys during the, the um, Juke Joint project, um, he finds he gets a little surprised. He finds out uh, uh, something from his past um, kind of comes into, into play. Um, I'm not going to tell you more about that. You'll just have to wait for the project when it's finished to, to hear more about that. Um, but one word that would describe my character I think would have to be um, maestro um, you know because mainly he is the uh, maestro of the program he's the, the uh, main musician um, at the juke joint um, the reason I wanted to be involved in the project um, number one um, my good friend um, Christopher Morton is uh, the gentleman behind the whole project wrote the project and is doing the whole thing asked me to be a part and of course I was happy to be a part and the other reason is because it's such a unique project something I've never seen before and I was excited to become a part of it um, because of its originality and I'm excited to see where it's going to go so stay tuned and see what happens with the juke joint. Hi 
my name is Michelle Slawan. Um, in the Juke Joint, I play the character named Joy. Um, now, she is a small town girl and she's leaving home to see what else is out there besides just where she's from. And her journey, I must say, is one of love, it's one of heartbreak. It's a whirlwind of, of events that makes you feel a spur of emotions and I love it. Um, one thing about her that I gravitated towards when I was chosen to play her character is so much similarities that her and myself have. Um, the risk that she took just to explore um, her being a little dainty and demure and I find it I kind of find that I have some of those characteristics a little southern hometown girl type of feel. Um, and what's most intriguing is just the fact that she didn't let where she was from um, stop her from exploring. And then her exploration um, opened her up to a side of herself that she didn't even know um, existed. Um, if I could describe her in one word, um, with all that being said, it would be courageous, most definitely. Um, being a part of this juke joint project uh, is really important to me because uh, of Chris. He's an awesome photographer and he always makes sure that we have like great images for any event that we do. He's a great guy, great personality, and when he um, brought this to fruition, I wanted to be a part of it um, just for that simple reason. It's good energy, good people, good vibes. I love it. Hello everyone, my name is Maurice Brown and I'm so excited to be a part of the Jew Joint family. As part of the Jew Joint family, I play the role of Sly. And Sly is a character in Jew Joint that is perceived to be deceitful, clever, and psychotic, as well as shall I say, I want to be gangster. And the part that I like about playing the role of Sly is that Sly is a character that is actually opposite of my own personality. But the one thing that I do like about the role of Sly is that we do have similar tastes in as far as the vintage slash retro type of fashion that you would see him being portrayed in Jew Joint. Um, Ju Sly can be a bit mean as long as you don't cross Sly, you know, Sly will not cross you. So, um, and I love my Jew Joint family. I know they love Maurice, but whether or not they love Sly is a different question. So, and one word to describe Sly would be sneaky. So to the Jew Joint fans out there, stay tuned, more to come.